there's somebody else on the album. Um, yeah, there is Devin Townsend on the Devin album. Devin Townsend. So, so yeah. with somebody like that, how how does that happen? And and uh, what what was the relationship with him working on a song? Our drummer played on uh, Devin Townsend record, and oh. um, that record isn't released yet. So they had plans together, and they had this project going on. They became friends, and Devin felt like, all right, I can I can also participate on one of yours. So that was fantastic. We asked for it, said yes. And then he said his condition will be that he would uh, write his own parts, which is amazing. So we didn't write the song together. The song was kind of prepared and we knew where where he could be okay. popping on and doing his own thing. But about what he would do or not, he had an open call for that. And uh, he's such a creative mind that in town, like, amazing incredible when we went through the number of layers of vocal harmonies that he did we were we were absolutely surprised like how can can how can this guy come up with such you know interesting harmonies none of them are conventional they all fit together so yeah well, I think that's that's very interesting as well because whenever you work with people who've been around for a t- for a long time and you kind of have their own style of doing things and and know how to do things, uh, whenever you work with them, is that l- like a learning moment as well? Do you kind of look at how they approach music and how how they approach songwriting and those kind of things, or is it more separate? Yeah, I mean, you can you can grasp what a musician is doing even remotely. And I think mm. this remote thing happens more and more. Like even sure. as the band members, we have been working remotely for most of this album because okay. yeah, nowadays you can just do it. It's so easy. And uh, I used to think that that uh, was a kind of a, uh, not letting people understand what was going on. But right now, like having grown on the language of working remotely, you can really learn from everybody, even if you're not face to face. So in that regard, I think I learned a lot from Devin Townsend. I think I learned a lot from Federico Malaman. And then there are other contributors to the album, which I could work in person because we were set in the same cities and they're called Christian, both of them, Christian Costa and Christian <laughs> Gramaglia. And they took care of the electronics of the album. Okay. So Chris Gramaglia did most of it was there since the very beginning and uh, he did an exceptional job. I mean, the sound of this album is so redefined in terms of electronics because for the first time we didn't use electronic to be stuck on the top of a perfectly working piece, but uh, we started including its elements way early in the composition. Mm. So he also gave some great original ideas that we ended up using. So it was a very organic process. And I learned so much about, you know, computer instruments, software instruments. And uh, the second guy that I mentioned, Chris Costa, was coming a bit later in the process. So he did some additional layers that are absolutely brilliant, such as the end of Venice the Sunk mm. or we were recording vocoders together so whenever there's a vocoder line it was me at his place because we're actually neighbors <laughs> it was a couple of a couple of doors away from mine there was this guy that inside of his uh, place he has all the equipment in the world <laughs> yeah <laughs> 